Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, AG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Did you see how the, uh, where the door closed and, uh, coordinated with the banger? <laughs> banger, man. Hey, that was dope, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but look, man, so we have some news today coming out. And now you're in the way side of the side of the boxing things, man. You know, and uh, it's been announced that um, now you're in the way supposedly in the works to fight uh, uh, Akhmadalia. No, yeah, you ready? Let's go, champ. Let's go. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. You know what I'm saying, Akhmadalia. Um. Those you may be unfamiliar with him, and I will say this too, you know, it's understandable, you know, with the smaller weight classes, sometimes it is hard to keep track of everybody. I'm not giving you an excuse, but I'm just saying it is what it is. There's no shame in that, you know? You're casual. Especially when you think about, like, Nadia in a way, man, um, who's top of the pound for pound list, you know? Sometimes it's hard to catch his fights, you know? Uh, especially when it comes on at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, you know? And it, it will be problematic for those that work uh a traditional work hours to catch his fight so there's no shame in that you know I, I know a lot of people like to shame people for not knowing the smaller weight divisions but it, it's understandable but that's what I'm here for that's why you rock with me because I will keep you updated so Agba Dali you know just to give you a brief synopsis on him you know he's a former Olympian uh, a bronze medalist <laughs> And uh, yeah, man, you know, he's uh, I'm excited for this fight because he's a very good fighter, um, very methodical fighter, fundamentally sound fighter. Um, I will say this, though, I'll be honest, you know, um, this fight was supposed to happen before, you know, uh, well, let me not say supposed to, but it was anticipated that this fight would happen before. Um, it's just that uh, I don't know if those of you remember, you know, now anyway, when he fought Marlon Topalas, you know, Marlon Topalas, Akbadalia fought first, actually. It's just that it was anticipated that Akbadalia would win, but Marlon Topalas won and he won by split decision. So it was it was somewhat of a, I don't want to say a big upset, but it was just, it was somewhat of a shocker because that gave Akbadalia off his first and only loss by split decision. And that would have had Akbadalia fight Naya anyway. But as you know, you know, instead, Marlon Topalas won and Marlon Topalas got to fight Naya anyway. Yeah. So now, you know, after Akhmadaliev, I believe he his last fight was against Kevin Gonzalez. That was a good fight, but I'll be I, I will admit I'm excited for Naya Inway versus Akhmadaliev. But with that fight against Kevin Gonzalez, you know, I feel like Akhmadaliev got hit quite a bit. And, you know, Kevin Gonzalez is a very tough fighter. That's his first and only loss. But he had I, I was already worried for him because, you know, he had that long nose. You know, he had that high high bridge on his nose. So I was like, man, that's, he's going to get busted up. And sure enough, that's that's what happened. You know, Kevin Gonzalez, he tried as hard as he could. And um, he put on a good a good fight. He's a warrior. But, you know, his nose got blooded up. And, um, you know, I believe Akhmadaliev stopped him. I want to say in the sixth or eighth round. I can't quite remember. But um, anyway, you know, after after that one, after he won that fight, Akhmadaliev looked good. And now, you know, he's on track to fight. Um... Um, now you're anyway again. I will say, this, like I said, I'm excited for this fight because I was excited before. I did. I was one of the ones that expected Akhmadaliev to beat Marlon Tapales. You dumbass. But he did it, and um, so we're here now. And um, you know, uh, I will say this though, to be to be to be fair, to be frank, I'm I'm more excited about Nadia Inway versus Akhmadaliev than I am uh for Nadia Inway versus Sam Goodman. So. It, it's it's definitely an upgrade from Sam Goodman, in my personal opinion. No disrespect to Sam Goodman, but I do think that this is a better matchup. But I do fully expect, strict, strictly uh, considering um, Akhmadaliev's loss to, to Palas, even though, was, albeit by split decision, it was still a loss, and I could see how Naya anyway could touch him up. And then with his fight with Kevin Gonzalez, like I said, Kevin Gonzalez was touching him up too before he was stopped. So I think this is a good matchup, but I'm a little less excited for it that I would have been had it would have happened before with uh, Akhmadalia beating Topalas, which he did it. But like I said, I still think this is a good fight. I think this is probably the best fight that could be made um, considering the, the opponents, unless you talk about like in the future for like Shushu Carrington, who I don't think is ready. And plus he's not even in the same weight class right now. So at this weight class, I'm very satisfied with this fight. I think it's gonna be a good fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. I had the monster winning. Um, um, I would say late stoppage. Uh, mid to late stop, but I say between eight and ten. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight. Man, Akhmadali is a tough guy, and um, I think I think he could put a fight. Man, you never know, man, because he, he could upset us. Because you know the the Boston gets a little wild sometimes. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Remember, with God we can do anything. Without God we are nothing. Y'all be easy. God bless. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.